what's up you guys it's ash welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be saving you some money and telling you my newborn must-haves okay so for all of you who are new welcome to my channel i'm ashley i'm a mom of three i do lifestyle content vlogs cook with me's all that kind of good stuff so if you like content like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and give my video a like so i know that you like this video so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing i have on my list for a must have is my haka breast pump and i am a breastfeeding mom so if you're not planning on breastfeeding then i guess this really wouldn't be good for you but if you are a breastfeeding mom this is pretty much a silicone breast pump you just squeeze it connect it to your boob let it go and it just like suctions so say for instance if i'm feeding elijah on this side i will have my breast pump on this side and it will be connected and sucking the milk out gently and catching all of my letdown so no milk goes to waste in a breast pad or anything thought i heard elijah wake up if you guys hear noise Elijah sleeping so I have his baby monitor on to watch him so disregard the noise but anyway yeah this is a silicone breast pump I absolutely recommend this I actually like using this more than I use my regular pump because it is so gentle and it just gives you like a natural letdown versus like suction in your boob and this is just the bomb yeah this can actually save you money because if you don't want to spend money on a breast pump and you want to um build up a stash or whatever for your breast milk i think this was like 25 dollars. i got it on amazon so really this is the way to go if you want to save money so this is a money saving thing and it's a one of my must-haves so yeah okay so next up on my list for must-haves is drift detergent so this detergent is specifically for babies i'm gonna let you guys get a close-up this is so gentle because if you guys didn't know, you cannot use like Tide or whatever you use on their clothes because their skin is so sensitive. So I always have to keep a stash of this. So like each time you go to the store during your pregnancy, grab one of these so you can stock up because this smells amazing and it's super gentle. If you wanted something that's non-scented, you can always use the all free and clear detergent. But I like for my baby's clothes to have a little scent on it so it just smells so good so this is good it's super gentle and it's not a strong fragrance it's very 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 mild and light so it's not something that's going to irritate their skin so this is definitely a must-have for me i used it for all three of my babies and i used it up until i think they were maybe like two actually i kept using it because when they're little their skin is just so sensitive so yeah must have okay the third thing on my list is a clothes hamper i don't have it with me because it's just too much stuff over here but get your baby like his or her own little laundry basket because it's so important to put your baby stuff separate from yours i put that on my list because i find that like so many moms actually forget to put that on their registry or get it for their baby and you end up getting it like later on so i wanted to put it on my list just to give you guys a quick reminder that yeah you need that okay so the third thing on my list is a wipe warmer and this is the one that i use this is the lion heart wipe warmer warmies this is actually the warmies wipe warmer i believe that's what you call it and it actually came with these little washcloths a sponge that goes in the bottom that you wet and um you're actually supposed to warm the towelettes in here but i decided to use it as a wipe warmer because all of the other wipe warmers that i use in the past were always just so drying like they would dry my wipes out to where they felt like paper towels so yeah i went ahead and invested in this i don't think it was expensive at all i just got it from walmart by the way everything is going to be linked in the description below so you guys can check all that stuff out okay so the next thing i have on my list are nursing pillows i actually have two this is the boppy pillow and i love the boppy pillow for many many reasons um number one the boppy pillow is easy to put on like you literally just put it on to breastfeed and got water on me but you can just put it on to breastfeed and you're good to go it's really really soft and then i like the fact that you can actually change this out so if you don't want this kind of a 
sleeve on it or whatever. You can wash it. If your baby pukes on it, you can wash it or whatever. So I love the boppy pillow. And then I also like to just um, put a blanket over this and lay Elijah on this. And perfect little sit in place. So like if I'm doing laundry, I'll put him on this, on the bed as I do laundry. I can talk to him, play with him. He's comfortable, safe. I get to do what I need to do and it keeps him calm. So I love the boppy pillow for that reason. And then I also have the My Breast Friend pillow. Um, I like this pillow because it actually gives you back support with this little thing here and you can adjust it here with the Velcro to however tight or loose you need it. Um, this is really good for C-section moms, such as myself, because with the back support, it just, it didn't put so much pressure on my scar. So it, I could put it tight enough to be high enough to where it wouldn't slide down like the boppy pillow. And then I love that it had like this little pocket here because I was putting like his pacifiers in it, snacks in it, um, pretty much whatever I wanted in this little pouch. And it was just good to go nursing pads, anything. So this made it super convenient. So I have both of these on my must have list only because you just pretty much go with whichever suits your needs. Like say for instance, if you rather just have something more simple and versatile, you can use that. And if you're a C-section mom who wants that back support, then this is a good pillow for you. Um, but I honestly use both of them. So yeah, I put them on my must have list because I've been getting good use out of it. Okay, so the next thing on my list is right here. And it's plugged up, so I'm not gonna bring it to the screen, but it is my humidifier. And this is also a night light. I don't, I don't think you guys can see, but it has like a super soft light that comes with this. You know what, I'm gonna see if I can turn off the lights and show you guys, give me one second. Okay, you guys, so I do the most, I know, but I wanted you guys to see this. So you see how the light just changes colors and it's super soft um, and it gives the mist out of it or whatever. So it serves as a humidifier and a night light. I put this on the dresser by my bed so that when I'm changing Elijah or if he wakes up, I can immediately like just see what's going on with them. I don't have to turn on any harsh lights. I don't have to plug a night light in. And you also get this night light that changes colors. Hold on, let me show you. So it changes colors. It goes to like a green, a teal, a blue, a purple. It looks flickery on the screen, but it doesn't look like that in real life, so. But yeah, ever since he's been home, we have been using this. So I wanted to put this on my list because this is definitely something that I recommend. So the next thing on my list is gonna be this Aveeno Eczema Therapy Balm. Where is it? There you go. I absolutely love this stuff, you guys. It's a little bit more on the pricey side but when i say this does wonders and your baby really doesn't have to have eczema to use this stuff i love it because it's creamy it's thick and it's super moisturizing this is what it looks like hold on yeah that's what it looks like you guys as you guys can see this is actually our third jar since elijah's been here so i absolutely love this stuff i stand by it um, it's fragrance free and I recommend this because all babies go through that dry skin stage where they're peeling and a lot of babies end up having eczema or acne um, and this clears it up super quick. I actually was able to clear up Elijah's eczema and acne in three days and I have a video on how I did it. I will link it down below for you guys. But um, yes, I love this stuff. I stand by this stuff and I recommend this stuff highly to all mothers. Yes, get you some of this. So the next thing on my list is this little gadget here. And it's wet because I just washed it out because I used it earlier today. But this is a booger sucker. So what you do is you put this part in baby's nose and you take this part and put it in your mouth and you suck the snot or boogers out of their nose. Um, I like to do this after spraying their nose with like a booger softener. And this is by Baby Frida. Um, and Baby Frida also has a booger softener spray that I'm out of, so I can't show you guys, but of course I will link it for you. Um, but yeah, you put this in the baby's nose, you suck the boogers out. This is painless, this is easy, and it's quick. Elijah does so much better with this than what he does with the bulb syringe that comes from the, um, hospital but yeah he loves this 
I love this. This is a staple. I use this each time that he has any kind of snot or boogers in his nose. But yeah, life of a mom, you need this, trust me. Okay, the next thing I recommend you guys is Andy ointment. Andy ointment is my favorite ointment to use. Um, a lot of moms use like Aquaphor or coconut oil and things like that, but I am a big fan of Andy ointment. I use it on all three of my kids and I rarely ever have any diaper rash issues. I think Elijah has only had one and that was because I ran out of this for a few days and procrastinated about going to the store. Bad mom, I know, <laughs> but um, yeah, he had a rash for like maybe two days and as soon as I use this again, clear it right up. This is actually preventative treatment, but I use it like for any kind of chafing or any kind of rashes. So like babies develop like these little folds all over their bodies when they start to get chunky and they chafe. So I like to put it underneath his arms, on the creases of his arms, behind his legs and his neck um, because those are the main places that babies chafe and it clears everything up. It prevents any kind of moisture. Um, this is just really good to use and I choose this over any other ointment and I recommend this over any other ointment uh, because it is so so good I've never had any issues with this and it's inexpensive this is the cheaper ointment out of like aquaphor and coconut oil and all this other expensive stuff save you some money and use A&D ointment I'm telling you it works just because it's on the cheaper side does not mean it's any less effective it works so well and I've used it on all three kids so I highly recommend this okay so next on my list I have gripe water and gas relief drops this is the kind that I have you can really use any brand um, this is just the brand that I use um, but any brand works the same as all the same thing um, but you want to have both of these and gripe water is something that you can use frequently. I don't use gas relief drops that often because it's a little stronger than gripe water. But say for instance if I had something with broccoli or anything that just makes him really gassy, I will give him this to give him quick relief. But um, gripe water is my go-to for a lot of different reasons for tummy ache or if he has colic or whatever. This is the stuff that you want to always keep. Um, I would go ahead and purchase this before your baby is born because I guarantee you, you're gonna need it at some point and you wanna have it. You don't wanna have to run out to the store to get it. So yes, I highly recommend these two products. Okay, you guys, next on my list, I know you've probably seen this if you've already watched some of my videos, but it is a pacifier clip. This is the pacifier clip that I have, but any pacifier clip will work. Um, this is definitely a must have and I recommend having more than one. Um, this just pretty much clips on their shirt or whatever and their pacifier goes in their mouth. This is so good to have because babies love to spit out their pacifiers, drop them, whatever. This saves it from hitting the ground. So you always wanna have this, especially if you're going out, like if you're going to the playground, Walmart, whatever. Even around the house, you wanna have this because you wanna prevent that pacifier from dropping on the ground. But if it does, you can always sterilize it, which brings me to my next must have. So the next thing you wanna have is some sort of sterilizer. Of course, mine will be linked below that I have. Sterilizers are usually on the pricier side, but it is so convenient to have something that you can just pop a little bit of water in it and let it do its job to sterilize your bottles, pacifiers, pacifier clips, everything. Um, and you won't have to worry about doing the manual labor yourself but if you want to save money because like i said they are on the pricier side you can just boil some water throw your pacifiers and stuff in for i think about 30 seconds take it out works just as fine but if you're a mom of multiple like me i have three kids so sometimes i don't have time to do that especially when you're breastfeeding you just want something that's going to do it for you the advent sterilizer or any kind of sterilizer perfect highly recommend Okay, so the next thing on my list for a must-have is a bottle drying rack. Now, this is the one I have, and you just pretty much sit it on the counter, sit your bottles. I'll use the um, breast pump here. I just take my stuff, sit it here, and literally it just stays there, pacifiers, anything that I need to dry, especially after sterilizing or washing. And it also comes apart like this. So you can take it, put it in the sink, wash it, and 
dry it and have it ready for baby. I keep this clean. I keep his bottles on here at all times. Anytime I wash it, I highly recommend this. I love this. This is definitely a must have. Okay, so the next thing on my list is the Outlet Smart Sock. Now, I did a whole product review on the outlet, which will also be listed below in the description box. What the Outlet Smart Sock pretty much is, is a sock that goes on your baby's foot that pretty much tracks their heart rate, their oxygen levels, and it also lets you know how long they sleep, how much they wake up throughout the night, lets you know if your baby is moving, all that good stuff, it tracks it for you right there and you can look at it from the app and if you don't wanna download the app, it'll still alert you. But um, the alerts will go off if like your baby's levels drop below normal or if they're above normal. You will get alerted immediately and you can check on your baby. Now this is on my must have list only because I feel like it gives me a peace of mind. It lets me know that Elijah is okay at all times and I can just get a little bit more rest knowing that something is helping me monitor him while I'm asleep. Okay, so speaking of sleep, the next thing I have on my must have list is these little sleepers. And this is Elijah's old sleeper from when he was a newborn. Um, You guys, I cannot stress enough. Do not let your baby sleep with any blankets, sheets, or anything. The only thing that needs to be in his or her crib is the baby, that's it. So, with that being said, a lot of babies, they like to be swaddled. Some, not really. Elijah was, hmm, he liked to be swaddled in the beginning, but then later on throughout the weeks, he didn't. These sleepers keep them warm. These sleepers are convenient. It covers their feet. It covers their hands. This one comes with like little mittens on it. So he can't scratch his face, but if not, I would recommend getting some mittens. But there's a bunch of them that come with the little mittens and the little covered foot parts. So yeah, I highly recommend getting a bunch of sleepers. When you're purchasing clothes, do not purchase a whole bunch of outfits, expensive stuff. Get you a whole bunch of sleepers and a whole bunch of onesies. That's really all you need for like their first year of life because they grow so quick. So save yourself some money. Take, these, take this advice and Get them some sleepers, get them some onesies, some socks, and some mittens. You do not need a Gucci outfit for a three-month-old baby. Don't do it. Okay, so the next thing I have on my list, you guys, is a diaper bag. And not just any diaper bag. I recommend, like on my must-haves, have a book bag style diaper bag. When you're going to appointments or whatever, it is so convenient to have something that you can put on your back. You can carry your baby or in the car seat or however you're going to carry your baby in. And you don't have to worry about lugging anything on your arm or any of that crazy stuff. It literally just goes on your back. It's super cute. It's super convenient. Um, I love my diaper bag. We actually have two. I love both of them. This is the one I use more frequently because it has this little pacifier holder thing here. You just stick the pacifier in and it keeps it clean and safe. Or whatever so yeah I highly recommend having one of these diaper bags okay so the next thing I have on my must-have list is a portable um, bassinet and I'm gonna show you guys this is the one I have this is how compact it is I literally just keep this under my bed and the reason I recommend this is because we have a two-story home so when I'm going downstairs I really don't like to have to put Elijah like on the couch or anything I want him to be secure and safe um, and packing plays are just huge in the way uncomfortable just I can't stand packing plays so this is what it looks like I don't know if you guys can really see but it's not let out all the way but you pretty much can just put like a little um bassinet cover over here and i like to just sit this on the floor next to me or on the little um ottoman in the middle of our living room i'll sit it on top of there watch some tv or move the pillows off the couch sit it on top of there but i like having him in this versus like having to take up space with the pack and play or lay him on the couch but yeah i, I highly recommend this especially if you have a two-story home because it saves you space downstairs and it also gives your baby a place to sleep so okay so the next thing on my list you guys is gonna be a baby monitor I highly recommend a baby monitor because like I said I have a two-story home so when I'm downstairs 
taking care of Bryson at AJ's dinner or helping them with their homework or whatever and Elijah sleep. I don't want to have to wake him up to bring him downstairs with me. I want to be able to see what he's doing and make sure he's okay. So I like to turn this on and I don't know if you guys can see but he's asleep in his crib right now and I can I can see and then also I can move it around and see different angles or whatever. You guys probably can't even see that but yeah I live by baby monitor i have to have it um because i don't have time to sit and watch elijah all day when he's asleep i need to be taking care of stuff and the only way i'll feel comfortable doing that is if i can see what he's doing from wherever i am so if you are a mom who have more than one kid or you are somebody who works from home or upstairs you have a two-story home get a baby monitor it's gonna save you some stress it's gonna save you from peeking in looking at your baby every five minutes or feeling like you have to listen for your baby. You know, you can just look and listen from the monitor and you can even talk through there, all kind of good stuff. So I highly recommend having a monitor. So you guys, that is all I have for my newborn must-haves. I hope this relieves some stress, clears some things up, and gives you a list that you can actually go by to make sure that your newborn has everything he or she needs in those first months of life. So just a quick reminder, if you guys are wondering what all is on my list and what all products I have, I do have them listed in the description box for you guys. So go ahead and make sure you check that out along with my videos that I recommended you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye.